is all about style, how cool you can make it look uh, while carrying a lot of speed and momentum and a lot of angle. Not like any other motorsports. You know, that's kind of what makes drifting interesting. The fans love it. Like, they want to see carnage. They want to see chaos. And you know, that really fueled my fire to become even more aggressive and push myself to the extreme. My name is Ken Gushi, and I'm a pro driver. He's supported me since day one. He's like the man who started everything for me. Like where I am today is all because of my dad and the way he pushed me to do whatever I wanted. But this is essentially where I got my start. Um, I started to my interest in cars, my love for cars. In fact, the first time I got behind the steering wheel was at my dad's old shop inside the parking lot, driving a stick shift, doing a burnout and whatnot. So this is the thing, like he's so into himself that he puts all his stuff up front. Here, here's where my helmet is, I'll show you where. Back here, far from the customers, so they don't really ask about this one, but here's my helmet. Drifting started and originated in Japan. Because of that, I didn't really give thought to how rare it was to see an Asian person in motorsport. And more recently, I started to realize, you know, there's only three of us in Formula Drift now. It is really rare to see an Asian race car driver performing at the highest level of each genre of motorsports. And that was the difference between my parents and the way typical Asian American parents raise their kids was that my parents are extremely free-willed. They told me to do whatever the hell I wanted as long as I was happy. Where I am today is all because of my dad and the way he pushed me to do whatever I wanted. Say I didn't want to do drip driving or racing. I wanted to just be like a doctor or something. Then yeah, he's going to support me no matter what I do. He just wants me to be happy with the life that I live, doing what I do best and being happy about it. So even if I didn't choose racing, he would have supported me 100%. But the fact that we shared the same passion made it that much better to be competing at Pikes Peak together. Uh, we even competed in Formula Drift together at one point. And I really think that it was because of my dad and my mom that I became a professional driver and where I am today is because my dad taught me how to drive early on. I would not trade my lifestyle for anything in this world. Like I might not have a ride next year in two years, but am I gonna give that up? No, I'll just go ahead and look for another ride and make, make sure that I'm always on the edge of competing and you know, just trying to pursue to become a better driver every time I'm behind the wheel.